Okay, we had um, Poppy number one ask me why I'm not using the positive side of the bridge rectifier on my little pulse motor. Um, the reason being is it doesn't actually have to be a bridge rectifier. That was just sitting right there in front of me, so I used it. All you need is two diodes. So to explain what I'm doing, if you put two diodes on a coil, the back side, of course, is the negative. Two front sides of the diodes are your two positives. So we know when a magnet goes past the coil, we get an AC sine wave. All I've done is split that wave in half. I'm using what I call the front half or the top half of the wave to fire the transistor and the bottom half to drive a little LED or charge a small battery. So I just whipped up this quick jig to show you how it works. So this is our flywheel magnet approaching the coil. As you can see, one LED lights up. So that's what I'm using to pulse the transistor. Now when the magnet leaves the coil, the other one lights up. And that's what I'm using to run little LEDs or charge a small battery. So you get the same effect going the other way, of course. Magnet leaves, get a DC pulse. Magnet leaves, DC pulse. Now, it depends on whether this is oriented north or south to the coil as to which one of these will fire. So if the magnet's the opposite way around, it'll be this one that fires first, and then that one when the magnet's leaving the coil. So hope that answers your questions, Poppy. You don't need the bridge rectifier. I used it just because it was there. I'm only using half of it on the system. And um, that's how it works. Hope that's helped out.